In this video, we are going to understand whether or not the United States will put sanctions on India for buying the S-400 defense system from Russia. I have already made a video in that I have explained how the S-400 system works and why America is not in favor of the countries that are interested in buying the S-400 system. You will find the link of that video in the description or click on the top right corner. As you all know, India has bought the S-400 system. It will be delivered in the first week of December and needless to say, India is going to deploy this Russian hardware on the western and eastern borders. So the big question is why the United States has not yet put any sanctions on India? Or you can also put the question this way, whether or not America will put sanctions on India? Let's get right into it. See the first thing that we need to understand is that India is the only country in the entire of Asia that can stand up against China. And as we speak, India is successfully doing it. And the whole world has understood that China finds itself in a tight spot while dealing with India. So if you see, for America, India is a strategic partner when it comes to dealing with China. Now I have seen many people saying that America is using India. You have to understand that it is not like that. Every country has its own interests. Yes, I agree the big five countries have always exploited many countries in the world. But India is no longer a small country. You have to get your head around it. India's economy and military come in the top five. Plus, from a consumption perspective, India is a huge market after China. If you pay attention, every country in this world is trying to sell something to someone. In terms of consumption, after China, it is India that has a huge population. And the way more and more countries are going against China, it is obvious that the next best choice for anyone would be India. So as an Indian, we all are aware of this. Even our government is aware of this. So don't think it is so easy for America to use India. Even America knows how much to push India. Similarly, India is also aware of how to extract benefits from America. So it does not make sense when people say, since India is against China, that means America is using India to fulfill its own ambition. No, it is not that easy. There is mutual interest. On the other hand, if you see India and China's animosity goes back to 1950s or maybe a little more before that. And we have our own reasons. Let me summarize the India-China relation. It is just that China does not have a governmental system that ensures peaceful succession of power from one ruler to the next. At least during the rule of Deng Xiaoping, the concept of collective leadership with term limit was there. But after the arrival of Xi Jinping in 2013, he reinstituted one-man rule with no term limits. Just like how it was during the time of Mao Zedong. So what I'm trying to say is that China does not have democracy. I agree, there are many flaws with democracy. Anyhow, because of that, they have a single political party system. And the aims and goals of that single party are usually long term and fixed. And that is how even India and China's animosity has also been a long standing issue. Because the mindset of the Chinese Communist Party pretty much remains the same. One more thing, if you pay attention after 1947, India adopted socialism. But even communism was quite active and famous in India especially among the working class. After all, socialism was the brainchild of communism. It was the communists who created the USSR. After 1947, India did adopt the socialist ideology. But many of the important sectors like education, trade unions, cooperatives were taken over by the communists. Or you can say it was systematically given to the communists for political reasons by the Congress Party of India. So what I'm trying to say is the mixture of both communism and socialism existed in the domestic politics of India for a very long time and it still does. Then why is that India and China have deep rooted hostility? So you have to understand that it is all because of China. You simply cannot have a working relationship with the Chinese Communist Party. Why? Because India is a country of multiple faith, religion, values. It has a strong civilizational identity. All these things are not of any relevance to the communists. That is why there can never be a truce, because both the country's thoughts and belief system are 180 degrees opposite. So the Chinese model of governance is pathetic. They don't have any accountability towards their own people. If they want, they can make people disappear. Had this Tikayat been in China, you can only imagine what would have happened to him. So you need to understand the difference between India and China's model of governance. Here in India, democracy at its highest sense is upheld. That's not at all the case in China. When their own people don't have any rights, do you think the Chinese government is going to listen to others? No. So this is the actual reality of India and China. And America is simply taking side with India. So please don't think that America is using India. You can call it a partnership 
or maybe add the words strategic partnership. There is a difference between partnership and exploitation. Currently, India is a valuable partner to the United States, and that is a fact. So coming to the main point of this video, India and United States relationship has grown a lot since Trump's presidency. Today, India is a valuable Asian partner of the United States. India imports arms and weapons from the United States. Both the countries have also actively coordinated in combating COVID-19. They also cooperate on the issue of climate change. Even during the Afghanistan handover, the American intelligence agency had consulted with the Indian government. Both countries have zero tolerance towards terrorism. Of course, behind the scene, America does support proxy forces, but on the face value, they are against terrorism. And India can deal with double facet country as long as India benefits from it. And that is true with almost every country in this world. Then there is a huge Indian community consisting of professionals and workers having the H-1B visa, contributing heavily to the American economy. The Indian diaspora is growing year by year in all spheres in the US. A good example is look at the current Vice President, Kamala Harris. Even a present American astronaut is of Indian origin. There are a couple of senators and lawmakers in the US who are of Indian origin. Then both countries are part of the Quad Alliance. India also has access to American military bases in Djibouti in Africa to Guam in the Pacific. And here are some military agreements between the armed forces of the United States and India. Then regular joint military exercises like Yudh Abhyas, Vajra Prahar, Red Flag, Malabar exercise happens every year. The United States is India's second largest trading partner. US heavily invests in India in the form of foreign direct investment. I believe the US is the second largest source of FDI in India after Singapore. Now coming to science and technology, ISRO and NASA are currently working together on a joint remote sensing satellite. Then there are so many scientists in NASA who are of Indian origin. So you see India's partnership with the United States is transforming tremendously. So it is unfair to look at things from a narrow perspective and say that America is going to use India. It is not that easy. Sure, if America has an objective, that's alright, every country has its own interests. But I want you to know that even India knows how and what to extract from the United States. I want you to understand this. India is not being disrespectful. I'm saying India also knows how to be assertive. If I have to give you an example of India's assertive attitude, if you remember, Trump's government had terminated the generalized system of preference, that is GSP for India in 2019. Basically, GSP is an American trade program. They give preferences to some developing countries, not all. When I say some, I mean those who are in American good books. That preference is in the form of reducing tariff rates so that it is easier for developing countries to make a profit and enter the industrialized countries market. Till 2019, India was the biggest beneficiary of the GSP regime. In 2019, America removed India from the GSP program. Now, why did they remove India? Because India had denied the American companies access to its agricultural and dairy markets. And then India also imposed certain price control measures on American medical devices. In return, the US government removed India from the GSP program. Obviously, the US government wanted to teach a lesson. In return, even India banned 28 US products. So you see, India knows how to be assertive. It is not at all right to assume that America will use India. Both the countries have their own interests and they also know how to push each other. Now that I've given you a quick summary of India-US relations, now these are just few points I've given. There is much more that is happening between India and US. But the point is, aren't these points enough to believe that India is a valuable partner of the United States? And if at all Washington decides to put sanctions on India for buying the S-400 system, do you think India will not retaliate? And what makes you think India is not aware of the US sanctions? Trump administration warned India since 2018 not to buy the S-400 system. Trump even offered the American Thar and Patriot defense system to India as an alternative to the Russian S-400 system. But then the Indian government had already signed a $5 billion deal with Russia in 2018. So you see, at first, America did not offer its missile defense system to India. It was only when India had signed the deal with Russia. That is when the United States came with its product just to keep India happy. But Prime Minister Modi remained firm and he assured Vladimir Putin that there was no question of backing out of the deal. So India had already made up its mind back in 2018. There was no ambiguity on India's part. Even the United States was well aware of it. So what does it tell us? Do you really think America can use India? Is it that easy? Now let's say if America had an upper hand on India, then India could have easily cancelled the Russian deal and would have gone ahead with the American defense system just to keep the Americans happy. But that did not happen. India went ahead and bought the Russian S-400 system. 
This way India upheld Russian trust. There is an old Russian proverb, Duveriai no proveriai, which means trust but verify. India signed a deal with Russia in 2018, despite American offers and warnings. India fulfilled its promise to Russia, fully realizing what America can and cannot do. Now what about the American government? Of course America must have been upset. India is aware of it. Despite that, India went ahead and bought the S-400 system, right? That means India has either convinced the United States and said, relax, don't go crazy, we will come up with a much better deal. Or deep down India does not really care about US sanctions. Let me repeat again, I did not say India does not care about the United States. I said India does not care about the US sanctions. Sanctions are basically a penalty. United States will put Katsa sanction. In my previous video, I have explained what is Katsa. The full form is countering America's adversaries through sanctions act. That means if any country in the world has a plan that can potentially be a threat to the American interests, that is when the United States will use this sanction as a countermeasure. So America can put the Katsa sanction on India. Now think about it. Even if they want to put, what's the big deal? India has faced US sanctions before as well. When will Atmanirbhar fulfill its objective? So India does not have to take any tension. Now the question is why America is so worried about Russia's S-400 defense system. US is going around and threatening every country that is showing interest in the S-400 system. Why is it that? It's because of the S-400 capabilities. Americans do not want their stealth aircraft to be anywhere near the S-400 system because this Russian advanced military hardware can access the American stealth aircraft's vulnerabilities. Now suppose if these stealth aircraft are detected by the S-400 system, everyone who has the S-400 system will get to know the vulnerabilities. There will be a huge demand for weapons that have the potential to counter American stealth aircraft, missiles and drones. Now helping Russian arms sales is not in the US interest. India is very much aware of this. So somewhere we have to understand that the Indian diplomacy must have convinced the American government that you don't have to worry all the time. After all, we are good partners. Plus America is so far away. America is not a threat to India. Both are heavily invested in each other's territory. On the other hand, Russians don't trust anyone that easily. But they do trust India. So you see, all the big five countries including China is aware that how is India able to maintain relations with everyone and also getting its work done without complicating things. If you look at the current state of US-China ties, America sees China as a rising power that is ready to challenge United States supremacy. China's rising power is more important for the United States than India buying the Russian S-400 system. As I said before, India is the only country in the entire Asia that can stand up against China both militarily as well as economically. That means United States cannot risk offending India with sanctions. Plus, Indian government has maintained good ties with both Democrats and Republicans. That means American lawmakers on both sides will have to find a way to avoid sanctions on India. Now please don't think that India is threatening or nudging the United States or India is being disrespectful. India is politely saying to United States, make an exception for India and not be dramatic about it. So that is how India purchased the Russian S-400 defense system without worrying about what the United States will do. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.